Hey, it's Tyler from crazyaboutcompost.com and today I wanted to take a look at my trash can composter. It's been about six to eight months since I stopped adding to it, so it's had plenty of time to do its thing. And I wanted to show you what it looks like and uh, compare it to the typical size compost bin and uh, hopefully give you some insight on how the system works and how it could work for you. Let's take a look. Here's the trash can composter next to my full-size geobin cubic yard composter. And a pair of trash cans will definitely do the job, although it is a little trickier and you need to pay a little bit more attention to detail because due to its size, it makes it a little bit more challenging to get the sustained high temperatures you need for the material to break down at a faster rate. But if you take speed out of the equation, at the end of the day the trash cans do just fine, they just take a little longer. So this one I haven't added to it for a good six to eight months, which should be plenty of time. I highly doubt that everything in here is broken down. There's probably going to be a bunch of stuff that isn't. But so what? We'll just add it to our next composting effort. Uh, in addition, I have my compost sifter that I put together and also my Rubbermaid tub, which is what I use instead of plastic bags for, you know, sweeping up leaves um, and also for collecting the finished compost. It used to be my vermicomposting bin, but I found that worms did a lot better outside, so I did a little experiment and I've added them to both my trash can and my geo bin, and it ends up that they stick around. Even through the colder months, they just burrow down and disappear, and then when it's warm enough, they come back up. So knowing that, if you can add red wiggler worms to your composting efforts, they will definitely help it. And especially with the trash can where it's a little bit more challenging, they should definitely be able to help break down your material that much better. So right off the top, you can see that I've got holes in the lid. This is to allow some rainwater to get in there and also improve aeration. And you'll see that I have this whole thing covered in holes going down the sides. Essentially mimicking this, just uh, less holes and a little sloppier, but you get the idea. So let's take a look at the inside. Oh wow. So as you can see right off the bat, look how much this uh, managed to shrink. That's kind of crazy too, because this thing was completely packed to the gills. I couldn't add another leaf to it. I had this thing totally full. So the fact that it's dropped down this much shows that the material has broken down pretty nicely. Obviously the top layer is going to be dry as a bone. I'm curious once we get into here a little bit what it's going to look like. And again, I strongly doubt that this is going to be some perfect, beautiful compost because of the fact that I was trying to make the least effort possible. So I wasn't really shredding my leaves, I wasn't turning it, I wasn't really anything. I just wanted to add stuff, let it sit, make it as simple as possible. Oof, see a couple pieces of plastic liner. This looks like it was probably embedded in some paper product or something that I accidentally put in here. Another interesting thing is how plastic kind of floats to the top of your composting efforts. Um, so I'm sure I'm gonna see some of that, but hopefully the compost screen will be able to sift through that. So out of the entire trash can composter, here's my favorite stuff. This is what made it through my quarter inch screen. And it's not perfect by any means, but it's still really nice and slimy. It smells great. Looks pretty decent, I guess. Um, you know, but again, I tried to do this with the least amount of effort and attention possible. So that was the point. So this just shows that with a minimal amount of effort, you can get some great stuff. And uh, you're keeping all the food scraps out of the landfill. You've got a perfectly good soil amendment to utilize at your own house. If you want to get started and make compost like this, or even better, with a little bit of effort, feel free to reach out. You can hit me up at crazyaboutcompost.com. I've got tons of videos on YouTube, and I'm starting to make more of them on Instagram as well. And I've got a free course you can sign up for to learn how to compost, and also a book as well. So feel free to hit me up. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.